Sony hasn't had the best luck when it came to their PlayStation virtual reality headset, the PSVR 2, because it did not meet sales expectations, so much so that they actually had to halt production entirely for this unit. At a time where we kind of were interested in the metaverse and virtual reality headsets, I guess maybe Sony jumped the gun a little too uh, high and found themselves, well, not selling enough. With only 2 million units sold worldwide, believe me, this is where Sony's like, yeah, uh, maybe we should reconsider, revitalize this product line, which they have. And that's the great news because Sony has announced that the PSVR 2 Steam app will be available on August 6, enabling the PSVR 2 headset to work with VR games on Steam on PC. And the best part is this, if you're someone who already invested on a PSVR 2 and you're just sitting there collecting dust, now you get to get access to the massive library of VR games that are only on PC. The, to use this feature, players will need the PSVR 2 headset, the Sense controllers, I mean, of course, that comes with the package, but a new thing that you need to get your get invested into is the PSVR 2 PC adapter, which is going to cost you another 60 bucks. But if you're already, if you're already chucked in $500 for this PSVR 2 headset, which is the, literally the cost of a PlayStation 5, I think 60 bucks isn't going to hurt you. Uh, additionally, a DisplayPort cable compatible with the DisplayPort 1.4 is required. So there is a bit of an initial setup, but once that's done, you can start playing all sorts of VR games on, the, on Steam exclusively. While using the PSVR 2 headset with Steam, some features will not be available, unfortunately, including HDR, headset feedback, eye tracking, adaptive triggers, and f uh, haptic feedback. However, players can still enjoy 4K visuals, a 110 degree field of view, 3D audio, and finger touch detection. Not the most compatible piece of tech for PC VR games, but still perhaps the right step in the right direction. Um, I think this is a, 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 how do I say this? It's perhaps the only way that Sony could really find any form of longevity for this product line, perhaps even try to sell a few more units, what's left of their surplus cargo, but uh, will this initiative help push for more sales enough for them to resume production on PSVR 2? I don't think so. That kind of momentum doesn't really pick up uh, as, as fast as they would hope, especially when the VR headset costs nearly $500. Like I said, it's the cost of an entire PlayStation 5 console. So you really got to be someone who's interested in dabbling with VR games, augmented reality, the metaverse, whatever it may be. Uh, but I think that's perhaps a very small consumer base compared to the rest of, um, you know, the gamers out there who don't really see VR at the moment as the most viable form of experiencing immersive video games. And it's still a long, I would say it's a long journey ahead for what virtual reality could do in video games. There has been some really great contenders and uh, I would say prime examples of the potential of VR. Uh, Half-Life Alex is a great example, um, but it is still not so, I would say, revolutionary to the point where it will become a household stable for every gamer out there. Maybe 10, 20 years from now when uh, VR could really pull off some sci-fi <laughs> sci-fi sci features that we only see in movies. But until then, we'll just have to wait and see. If you do have a PSVR 2 and perhaps it's just collecting dust, this could be finally the chance to bring it back and get, you know, get make use of this product line because uh, 
Sony hasn't done the best in terms of supporting content for this uh, headset. They thought, oh, just the initial exclusives uh, are going to be enough. No. And now with the halting of production and very, very few uh, exclusive PSVR 2 games coming out, it needs to find a new chapter, a new way to resurrect itself. And I think being available on PC, on Steam, is the right choice. But is it too late? I don't think so. It's never too late. And with that, guys, it's time to wrap it up here on the Evening Buzz. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Evening, Bu Evening Buzz every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, keeping you guys busy and entertained all throughout the weekend shift from 8 till 9 p.m., only here on Pulse95. This is Mikhail Atia signing out. Have a good one. If you liked this episode of The Evening Buzz, go, go, go. drop a like and subscribe. Be sure to follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates and top stories. Pulse.